A controversial plan to build hundreds of new housing units in Ashland appeared back in front of the city council. But residents who were extremely unhappy with the plan before say it now looks like it may be headed in the right direction. A fire hazard in the summer and an empty space in the winter. That's what some nearby residents are saying about this roughly 93 acres of land in Ashland. We would like to see this parcel developed, but we want it developed reasonably. At Tuesday night's city council meeting, the city of Ashland came one step closer to putting 500 new housing units on this plot of land just off Normal Avenue. We received a report from a committee that was authorized by the council to look at the normal plan. And that committee came back with recommendations that the council put in the plan, including limits on building height and developing a cost estimate for necessary improvements on East Main Street, among others. Improvements to East Main, something Bryce Anderson, who represents almost 200 homeowners in the area, says needs to happen. It needs uh, curbs, gutters, sidewalks, bike lanes, and left turn lanes. And that is vital for safety in this area. Now the next question, how much will it all cost? In the coming months, a cost estimate will be developed. For the time being, though, after months of heated discussion between residents and the city council, Anderson says homeowners are finally okay with the current updated plan that allows for fewer housing units than previously proposed. I think it's going in the right direction and certainly was a lot better last night than it was when we started. There are other issues that remain, including what will happen to the wildlife and wetlands in the area. Now, it's expected to come back to the city council in April after various commissions weigh in on the plan.